another ROM review and here is the Corvus OS 3.0 gaming edition for Redmi 7 and of course uh, listen to me clear fully this is a port and I ported this for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 users so here is the file Corvus OS 3.0 gaming edition port Redmi 7 and you guys will get the drive link in description just check that out and now let's get into the main business so here let me show you the about section here and of course android version 12 you guys can see and the latest security update and baseband and kernel used here since per plus and really thanks to aditya for this one and remember one thing if you want to use this rom don't change kernel if you change kernel you will face boot loop so don't do that now get back and of course G apps included I didn't make any uh, vanilla build here so that's why you guys don't need to worry about G apps and here you guys will get different user interface in the settings as it is Corvus OS here is device settings and here Corvus settings both are different uh, Corvus personal settings are there and they kept here the gaming space as it is known as gaming room so that's why they uh, get the priority game space and this is uh, really different and the newer version will come soon and I will try to update that of course and here is that you guys can easily use and some more interesting things and uh, really great features are available in that room I will talk about in this video so here is that Corvus and this is the information welcome Corvus OS version Revenant build type G apps of course and then let me show you first device settings and here after about session we have the system of course live translate everything is working I tried my best to port this one so uh, I'll talk about it later here is the gesture and you guys of course can see here the uh, pill navigation pill is just healthy type and you guys can make it like this just go to settings and just increase it the pill length and haptic feedback ime button space that means if you don't want space under the button under the keyboard then you guys can use that feature and if you want that if you don't want just turn up turn that off and if you don't want never then just hide the number whatever you need you guys can do that and this is IME button space that means if you just don't want this key here and let me show you the keyboard and if you don't want the uh, don't want here the space after the keyboard at the bottom if you don't need that space then just enable that IME button feature then, then turn off that one this one let me show you again uh, here And this is IME button space. I need that, that's why I'm using. I turned on the system. If you don't need, just turn that off. So that's it here. And of course, press and hold power button, one handed mode, everything is working. And uh, swipe to screenshot working and enable advanced restart. And you guys can use that one. And language and import, as usual, you guys can use. And of course, double proceeding is here. And average. Uh, 1.9 GB of 2.9 GB memory use here and then of course most interesting part here the Xiaomi ports is added in that home and different user interface and different animations uh, ambient display gesture if you want that ambient display if you want to use that and just turn that on if you want it always on then you guys can uh, turn it on but I don't suggest because it will drain battery faster you guys already know about that so that's it and then of course display like color calibration if you have the knowledge to mix the color red green blue and minimum colors you guys can add everything no issues with that and then of course fps overlay so which is here working perfectly no issues you guys can enable that one and we have the notification or you guys can see the toggle also available here here is the fps overlay you guys can enable that from setting and of course from notification toggle whatever you need just turn that off this is it here and if you want to make your speaker clear then just you guys can enable this just make that sound to make your speaker clear and then of course when you connected your device with a USB cable to your uh, computer or laptop or whatever just 
uh, enable USB faster and your device will uh, charge faster. That's it. Great features are gone now. We have digital well-being and parental control. Other things are as usual. Location. Now let's talk about the security here. And of course we have the face unlock, fingerprint, everything is just pretty much fine. At a glance you guys can unlock your device. And here is the app lock and the user interface is really very different from other other custom rooms so this is really cool you guys can use your face unlock and of course you guys can use your fingerprint and of course your uh, pin lock pattern lock whatever you want to use so this is great things and a smart lock as usual everything is here and encryption and credentials uh, which is encrypted as it is Android 12 you guys already know we don't have a perfect Android 12 uh, recovery yet so that's why it's encrypted not decrypted remember that thing and of course privacy accessibility as usual and we have a wallpaper on style and here change wallpaper you guys can use uh, default wallpaper so many wallpapers are there like if you have a uh, internet connection of course you guys can download or apply directly from here and we got some from Corvus and some from community and some from pixel so that's it you guys can I'm also using that one I guess yes I'm using that one just click on and then apply wallpaper and your wallpaper will be applied within a moment so that's it then we have here and of course you guys can use here the themed icons app grid whatever you need you guys can do and when you just enable all application themed icons then of course enable that themed icons beta then your all themed icon will be themed icons so that's it and then of course we have the display and as usual brightness level and this is interesting thing uh, i found the best best brightness settings in that uh, corvus OS. the best brightness level in that corvus OS 3.0 and let me show you I'm just using here just one third of the brightness level but it is still too bright so this is great thing and if you want to use extra dim feature of course you guys can use which I personally like very much and you guys can uh, change the intensity which is customizable extra dim shortcut keep on after device restart so every single features available in that room and here is the lock screen and screen timeout whatever you need you guys can change and prevent accidental wake up you guys can do that and dark theme override force jerk and font size display size smallest width night light and auto duration screen double tap to wake up double tap to sleep both are working and of course we have in display settings we have the full screen app if you are getting any application which is not working in full screen then just enable from here then it will work in full display so that's it now get back and let me show you the sound settings as usual we have all the necessary customizations are available of course as usual live caption is available and let me show you the face unlock is working fine that's it I just wanted to show you guys the volume control here which is really great you guys can directly just turn on and off everything what you need and vibration intensity great feature is here you guys can do enable haptic feedback ring notifications whatever you need you guys can do and here is the ringtone vibration pattern you guys can change uh, as it is a low-end device so we can't expect much but we have that feature which is really great and you guys can do a custom setup that's a great thing and dial pad tones touch vibration sound everything is present here if you want vibrate on connect when you're doing a phone call just enable that feature whatever you need and then of course battery battery backup is really great I tried to add it some prop so that we can get better performance so that's why and I am getting that one too and PHS travel setting and if you are using remember if you are using TWS or uh, Bluetooth earphone then just go to misc feature and it can crash then do a reboot it will be fixed and then just open it and you guys can uh, see here signal meter method whatever you need you guys can enable uh, whatever you wanted I just enable that one force headset switch and use alternate way to detect headphone that's it and then get back 
you guys can use other features as well but we don't need those features and here is the those features and here is the qualcomm features we actually don't need ims features so customization features as usual we already have it so then we have the network and customization as usual we have 4g body everything is here so i don't want to waste time here now let's get into the curve of settings and finally we have the gaming space uh, we have really great features here when you just playing games just block full screen event disable auto brightness which is really great and disable swipe to screenshot whatever you need you guys can enable here that's it and here is the theming and is custom color linear likeness and is accurate shades whatever and here is the uh, fonts you guys can easily use according to your choice so many fonts are there and here is the icon pack as usual you guys already know about that in some other custom rooms i already showed it and here is the wi-fi icon style and icon shapes as usual and in future you guys will get more here so no issues with that then we have the status bar and cloak and their settings traffic indicator and here is the important thing the traffic indicator is not working i tried my best to fix it but here you guys can see it doesn't work so that's it and just turn that off disable but i have the solution for you guys just go to play store we have a very lightweight application which is called internet speed just type internet just type speed meter and you guys will get that very light application just install and it will work just flawlessly and very lightweight application you don't need to do anything just install and open the application and it will work in the background without any problem so and if you just uh, turn off your device if you restart your device it doesn't matter it will work automatically in the background no issues with that and it started working you guys can see here and you guys can just do customization according to your choice just go to settings and reset starts or preferences and you guys can check according to your choice here and you guys will get the very best thing here and the navigation up, upload and download speed will be shown here you guys can customize it according to your choice now let's talk about status bar other things here colored icons you guys will get color notification icon here and you guys will get the count here if you the number of notification will appear here you guys will get so multi icon wi-fi icon you guys can change and 4g icon of course and a small mobile type icon whatever you need so much customizations are as so many here and here is the quick brightness slider wherever you want you guys can set and qs transparency that means a uh, quick settings panel you guys can just you guys can see here the blur effect and the transparency that's i am using here the value five you guys can make it high or make it low according to your choice that's it and then we have the uh, of course uh log screen battery notification buttons and navigation and mystery is most interesting thing is here unlimited google photos and unlock higher fps in game that means if you want to play games in 90 fps actually if you want to unlock 90 fps then just enable that feature and if you want to get photos storage google photos unlimited storage then just enable that feature and let me show you that and here is the google photos where is that here is the google photos and let me show you that and here you can see this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no ch charge so that's it which is great and of course i'll show you the gaming game settings actually i don't uh, have time to show that right now gaming but i just want to show you the game settings let me show you and you guys can see i already opened the games here and you guys can see here the game space is here here is the arrow just click here if you want to uh, go to settings and here is the modes standard mode and heads up and fps info stay awake and log gesture whatever you need and if you want to take a screenshot you guys can do that and if you want to record uh, 
screen then of course you guys can do that as well so this is great features and now let me show you what i just wanted to show uh, just go to settings and by default you guys don't need to enable any magic module just go to graphics and settings you guys can see it's already unlocked 90 fps ultra hd whatever you guys can see everything is unlocked here by default so this this thing actually make that uh, corpus OS different from other custom roms so this is great thing so you guys already watched the game settings and we have here the notification control center we have so many toggles like internet and Wi-Fi different toggles and mic access and camera access you guys can turn that off and location access as well uh, night light dark team ambient display stereo audio Xiaomi ports and FPS overlay everything is just working fine without any issues and I checked other things which is really great and working without any issue now let me show you some screenshots and here is that uh, safety net of course safety net is passed by default and I already rooted my device and I already showed in so many videos how you guys can pass the safety net if you just install magics and if you don't install magics you don't need to worry anything just flash the ROM and enjoy that's it and then we have Here is the charging time. Let me show you. I have uh, I had 43% charge that time. Let me show you the time. Our uh, time was 4 6 p.m. And when charge is 98%, our uh, time 5 10. So there is no issues with charging. And here you guys can see the notification count. You guys will get that. If you enable that feature so this is great ROM I guess if you want to use you guys can of course no issues with that and that's the things now let me show you the Geekbench of course actually which I don't care about anything uh, the Geekbench CPU throttling just don't believe in all those things and which is also good not bad 263 and uh, Android 12 well of course and by default we have interesting thing here the NX camera that means MIUI camera we have here by default you guys will get that MIUI camera so no issues with that uh, video and everything I checked everything is working without any issue so added this one I hope you guys understand the video and here is the smoothness border smoothness and I just want to say you guys if you like my work then of course do subscribe and here you guys can see the latest uh, a launcher here which is called Raven launcher and anyways we will be able to uh, see here the free RAM and kill app button screenshots and screen recording and here is the clear button everything is here and I just added uh, better RAM management properties and added scrolling properties so that you guys get smoothness so this is great thing I guess and just press and hold and of course you guys can uh, use the cloak widget cloak widgets are here according to choice you guys can use no problem and of course we have the home settings what you need some extra customizations if you want um, show grid of recent apps show grid of recent apps that means I am using right now this one and if you don't need that one then just turn that off and use taskbar if you want to use taskbar just enable that one and all apps themed icons here I already enabled that one and if you want all apps themed icon just go to wallpaper and setting just press and hold wallpaper and style and then just scroll down and click themed icons and your all theme icons will be themed so themed icons that's great thing and this is it and if you want different animation like a big navigation pillbar if you want like that thing so then you guys can use this one and which is called taskbar this is taskbar which is working fine as well no issues and I don't like it that's why I was not using that one if you like it then you guys can use so that's it